Hello and welcome to the short video on how to format an Excel spreadsheet. When we enter data into an Excel file, Excel will automatically align text to the left and figures to the right. And quite often, if you have a look at the screen here, this does not look good when you go to print out the data. So the one of the first things I would like to do is to select the data and that means I highlight, I drag select across the headings and just here on the alignment group I can center the headings works very well if your text is a little longer than the text that I currently have or we can just simply right align it and align it with the text and or, sorry align it with the figures directly below again we can see column A not, not fully extended so again place your mouse pointer between the columns uh, letters A and B so whatever column needs extended, you go up to the right of the letter, the column letter, and you can either physically drag it out for to extend it as long as you want, or you can double click and Excel, Excel will do the extending of the column for you. One of the nice things about the Excel program, if you're coming from a Word background, is you have a lot of familiar things to you. You've got your bold, which will bold the text in the cell. As you can see, bold applies it much darker text. We can select italics, so now you can see January is in italics, if you compare it with February. We can also put an underline there as well, if we prefer. I'll just go to the cell so you can see it more clearly. You also have here what you call a little fill pop, little fill background. So we can click on that, and that will give fill in the background text. The other one beside it, the letter A, this will actually choose a font colour. So it colours the, the lettering, the actual text. So the little pop will fill in the background and this letter A will put the red font. Now if it's a thing that you require a different colour of a background, then just let me click into March and we can select the down arrow and say no, we prefer whatever, we'll have a blue background and again want a different colour font so we might choose different colour font for that, we'll say yellow maybe. You can still apply the bold even with that, you know, so you're not restricted, so you can apply whatever formatting styles you wish. Other things you might like to have a look at is if you have, um, we'll say an entire row that, that you need formatting of the same, then bring your mouse pointer out to the left hand side onto the row number and just click on the row number and then apply whatever formatting, whether it's bold and italics. And what this will do, this will apply that formatting the whole way across. So even if I go into a cell in here, it's almost now, it's pre-formatted. And I go in here and I just put in a figure so that you can see. So it is already formatted for me at that point. And again, if you want to do an entire column, you would click on the column letter. And this will select all the cells right down along column column G. And again, I mean, you could you could format it whatever way you want. And that applies. And that's that's the whole way down again. If you want to undo some of the things that you've just done, up here on what's called the Quick Access Toolbar, which is a new toolbar introduced to the 2007 version of Excel, you've got what's called the Undo. Control and Z, as you can see, are the keystrokes. So you can also hold on your Control key and type letter Z, and that will do it too. So I'll just click on the little Undo. As you can see, it has just undone that. Now what is it, what would happen if I wanted to say, I wanted this formatting February with the yellow background and the red text and I would like the same formatting applied to many different cells but they're not together, they're non-adjacent cells. So here's the way to do that. Select the cell with the formatting, select the little format painter brush by double clicking on it and now you can see when I bring my mouse pointer down over the cells, there's a little brush, that's a little paint brush. And so now it's going to do a little paint job. I like it here, 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 and here. So to switch it off, you just go back up to the Format Painter and one click will switch it off. Some other nice features that you might have um, or that you might like to use, there's a feature called uh, text wrapping that you can that you can use within Excel. So if I put in some sort of a long name here, we'll say um, Christopher O'Sullivan. Enter. And it's, it's a bit, it's sprawling right across. 
go back into the cell press the enter key first and then go back into the cell and up here we've got wrap text just click on it and it will wrap the text for you now i do have to sort that out a little bit so back up to my column c and just drag it out a little bit so you can use your mouse pointer you can see the column with uh, um, appearing there as you do that so again that's called wrap text good for headings and so on other things that you might require i'll just move down the spreadsheet because it's a wee bit messy now um, and i will put down here and we'll say So again, if you want this heading to split right across a few cells, then you can select the cells that you want to center it across and you use here what's called merge and center. So you can click on merge and center and that really groups all those cells and treats that as one cell. So that's very useful too if you want various headings within your Excel worksheet. Other things that you might like to have a look at, we just click on the product list here and up here where you have little ABC where it says orientation again if you click on that you can sort of say angle clockwise angle counterclockwise and so on you see that so you give a nice little tilt to it other things that you might like would be I'll select here if I wanted a currency format applied to my totals up here on the number group you can you can select this little it's like a little stack of money this little icon so you can click on that and it puts in a currency format and since the euro is the currency that i'm currently using because we're in ireland then it applies the euro currency but again you can choose you can change this in your control panel in your settings anyway so again if you're using dollar signs it's automatically the dollar or if you're using the sterling pound or whatever you're using that's the currency that will be applied again you might want to show two decimal places after the decimal point so again, we can select this little guy here where it says increase the decimal. And you can see now that it's increasing the number of decimal places here in this particular cell. So again, if I wanted to de decrease those again, just bring the mouse pointer back up here again and select decrease the decimal place. So I can take them back down again. So those are some nice little formatting features that you can use within Excel. Other quick methods that you have of changing the text style, again, if you click on, let's just say cell A2 for now, up here on the font group, again, you can increase the lettering size, so I can increase it, and so on. So that's a nice quick way of doing it. Again, now you wouldn't obviously do this to spreadsheet, these are just pure examples of all the different styles that you can apply. Again, I'm going to select this cell, and if I'd like to change the font style, the style of lettering, so again, I click on the down arrow and I would select a completely different size. And again, of course, if you wanted to be more exact with your sizes, again, you can choose them. And as you scroll down, you can see this changing. Yeah, so I'll go back up again. And then. So those are some little features that you can use when you're formatting an Excel spreadsheet. Remember, if you want to save your changes, click on the save icon on the quick access toolbar or again, use control and S. This means you hold down the control key on your keyboard. Now that's the key that says CTRL, usually positioned down at the bottom of your keyboard. Hold that down while you tap letter S and that will save all the changes for you when you're using your file. So thank you for watching the short video. And if you want to check out my other videos, they're called Step by Step by Miriam. Thank you.